Welcome back to the show called Psych Substance. For today's episode, we have uh, my brother who has returned. He survived the kratom testing. With hair! Oh my god, it's back! <laughs> I wanted to do that. That's why I wore the hat. That's why I wanted to unveil that I wasn't bald anymore. And guess what? I got a hair transplant! <laughs> oh shit, no idea. <laughs> It's just like one of those donut bald guy hair <laughs> things. <laughs> it's not oh, even good. That would have been perfect. Why didn't I do that? So last time you guys saw my brother, we were testing out different strains of Kratom. Uh, for today's episode, we are going to be testing out uh, something similar. I mean, similar as in it's a plant. It grows yeah. in nature. And it's called Canna. We have fermented and uh, powdered because they're both used for different ingestion uh, methods. As for what canna is, this isn't gonna be like my usual videos where the lab coat comes on and I describe it all in detail. We are going to perform a very scientific Google search. In regards to why we chose canna, I've had a few requests to do a video on canna and I personally think that it's because there are videos of the channel called Drugs Lab taking canna. So I'm hoping that this video can be an accurate depiction of what this is like and we're also gonna cover more than just one route of administration. Before we get started, I'd like to share a quick message with the Google employee who will be reviewing whether this video passes the advertiser-friendly guidelines and, as a result, is shared normally by the algorithm. In the following video, two individuals educate the audience about the safe use of the plant called canna. Canna is 100% legal in North America, as well as most other countries, quite similar to the herbal supplement Cava, which can be purchased over-the-counter in health food stores. This is not a video about an illegal substance, nor do we promote the use of either legal or illegal compounds. This video is designed to both educate what safe use looks like, and to also document what the effects of this legal plant may be like, when it is consumed responsibly for documentary film purposes, according to YouTube's own advertiser-friendly guidelines shown here. Videos which discuss drugs or substances for educational, documentary, and artistic purposes are generally suitable for advertising so long as substance use is not graphic or glorified. There is a scene depicting the smoking of canna leaves, which may be misidentified as graphic. However, given that this plant shares the same legal status as chamomile tea, there should be no issue. If a video can depict someone smoking tobacco or drinking a glass of wine and still be eligible for advertising, then someone smoking legal dried tea leaves should be even less of a concern. I, am I right? As you can see, we have been very careful to ensure this video follows the guidelines and we are including as much context as possible to make our intent clear. Thank you. Online it's saying that what this can do is it can elevate your mood, it can decrease stress and tension, so a lot of people use it just as a slight mood booster. Uh, it also states that intoxicating doses, meaning like high doses, can be very euphoric, but not hallucinogenic. There are some reports online historically of it having psychedelic effects, which appear to be untrue. So it primarily acts as a serotonin reuptake inhibitor, very similar to SSRI medication, which is the most common prescription for people who are depressed in North America and I think in many other parts of the world. So an example of an SSRI would be things like Prozac or Zoloft. So there are people out there who take this every day and this is their antidepressant medicine. I find that really interesting, actually. I hope that's the case. I hope people are... No, there are. I've read that. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, there's people who take this oh. every day. They say it saved them. That's amazing. It's really cool. Well, I hope it's that wonderful. Mm-hmm. In regards to safety, this stuff has been consumed for hundreds, maybe thousands of years, and even in recent times, in regards to studies, uh, it has not been found to be toxic to humans. It's relatively safe, as long as you do not ingest it with a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. You never want to ingest SSRIs with MAOIs because that can actually cause serotonin syndrome and kill you. Uh, it's also suggested not to consume it with other stimulants, such as things like Adderall or well, MDMA would be a bad idea just because they're both working on serotonin. And also, a lot of people take the fermented leaves like this and they roll it with their joints and they say that it makes their cannabis high just that much more trippy. Fortunately, I don't have to say. <laughs> he's got nothing to say. And unfortunately, Sounds good. We have no cannabis to um, test this out with. Do you have any? Not on me, no. See, my brother <laughs> smokes weed. I don't smoke weed anymore. It's too bad I should have told him to bring some because yeah, that would have been a future Please. video. There we go. Future video. Canna. What is it really like for me? <laughs> yeah. Canna and cannabis. Yeah. Canna cannabis. Cananabis. Cananabis. <laughs> we will dig some yeah, cananabis. That's what I was thinking. I was like, they mix it with cannabis? That's yeah. That's hilarious. Canna cannabis. 
The traditional way is probably what I think is the most attractive. It's sublingually. So you're just chewing it and letting it get absorbed through your gums. If it is smoked, its effects are felt almost instantaneously and are very intense, but are shorter. Orally, it should not be taken on an empty stomach. It takes about 60 to 90 minutes to kick in, and the effect is not as intense as smoked, but it's more balanced and lasts longer. So apparently if you snort canna though, the effects are very short, but they come on very intensely. And it's not pleasant because you're basically snorting some tea or spices. Yeah. Okay, so we were just watching the drug slab video where he snorts uh, canna to get an idea of, you know, the dose he took. Because Ben was gonna snort it so that we could compare his effects to theirs. But upon watching the video, I realized that they used uh, an extract. They All they said was a rather strong extract. But then I go to the dosage information and it's literally the same dosage information as for just powdered canna, non-extract. So either there's some translation error where they don't actually have an extract and they are just taking regular powdered canna, or these guys took what could have been a monstrous dose. This is what I thought. I have no idea what's going on here, but I do know that this information is absolutely terrible. Confusing. They, they took an extract and they're taking the dose for the normal, just powdered leaf. All right, so I'm gonna weigh out my canna to smoke. He's gonna, are you just gonna put the powder into your tongue, so sublingually? Yeah. So I'm gonna be smoking uh, 420, 430 milligrams is my dose. Wait, it's going 420. Perfect number. I'm going to be smoking 420 milligrams. Oh. All right, Ben, let's weigh out your dose. All right. We're doing 400? Yes. All right, guys, we are ready to get started with this. He's gonna pour that under his tongue. Are you supposed to hold it, or what are you supposed to do? I'm not sure sublingual, it just, does mean you hold it? Yeah, swish it around, no, like, just... Okay. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh, sour. <laughs> really sour. Is it nasty? Mm. Can't swallow it. Like, <laughs> you have sealed your fate. How long are you supposed to hold it for? You're supposed to squeeze the juices out though, so you've gotta like, <laughs> gotta handle that. <laughs> All right, well he's suffering. Let's see how this tastes. Nothing's coming through. All right, my Prola de Ville thing's not working. That's better. I mean, it tastes like a plant. Mm. Mm. I don't know what to do to it. What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> what do I do to it? <laughs> you, just, you just gotta wait, man. Mm. You just chill. Can't say I really like it, but mm. the smoke is kind of harsh. Mm. Okay, it's been 15 minutes. Ben's gonna swallow his gunk. Oh. <laughs> oh, fun. My mouth is free. So, yeah, it just tasted really sour in the beginning, and then it kind of faded into like um like a green tea kind of flavor. <laughs> green tea, nice. A little bit, so it wasn't that bad, but... Yeah, I don't know if I'm feeling anything, really. I got pressure going on here. Right, like, solar plex area? I feel pressure, which is strange. That's a physical effect. It could just be from smoking it, because it was really burning feeling. Yeah, sometimes I get that in my chest if I smoke something. You do? Are yeah, you heaviness. Here? Yeah. yeah. For example, when I take Kratom, I feel relaxed, I feel talkative, I, I feel good, calm, confident. Just for an example of something else that's known to be subtle. But this is really just kind of like... I feel really zoned out. That's about it. I feel slightly calmer and kind of just comfortable in my body. That's it. Just like I could just slink here. 
like this the whole time. So you feel comfortable? See, I don't feel comfortable. I, probably just because of the chest pressure. I would not describe this as comfortable. Oh, my hands feel, feel kind of sweaty. I feel, I don't know if that's, I'm not nervous. I just, my hands feel sweaty. Hmm. And I feel warm, tired, and sweaty. <laughs> yeah. For me. I'm going to go put some ginger oil on my stomach. So I was just um, walking around over there and Ben was sitting on the couch and we were chatting and I did notice that I feel, yeah, a little more relaxed. It's hard to describe though because it's not really the kind of re relaxation feeling that I like, if that makes any sense. Like this isn't a feeling that I would ever really? look for. Yeah, no, this is this just really isn't my kind of feeling. Yeah, it kind of feels like mint tea. Mint tea. Honestly, it's just like <laughs> mint tea. I'm not meaning to like put it down, but it makes me think of drinking peppermint tea, that feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, dudes and dudettes, it's been about 43 minutes and how you feeling, bro? Basically normal. Hmm. Uh, I think that's what I was noticing. I was like, oh, I'm noticing something. Oh, wait. I'm just feeling normal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Can of cannabis. So are we gonna try the other roots? Or are we gonna do a tea out of it? Uh... Smoke some canna. What you do tonight, Ben? I just smoke some canna. You mean cannabis, right? No. Just canna. Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard of that. Everyone knows what canna is. It's good stuff, man. You got any canna for me? No dog. <laughs> I'm at the end. Alright, you, you smoked enough. I think that's good. You, that was almost all of it. You're good. <laughs> it started to burn a lot. Yeah. What I should be doing right now is making it into a tea, but I didn't like it at all. So I don't want any more. And that's that. Oh, my lungs are like, frick you. It smells pretty strong down here. Yeah, it's stinky. Jeez. It's really smelly. Yeah. So, how do you feel? It's been like 15 minutes. Has it? 10 I minutes, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel much other than just discomfort. Like you were saying before, after smoking it. Just a heavy chest, that's it. That's all I really feel, heavy chest. Just because it was so harsh though. Just because it was so harsh. So I don't, I don't know if I'd recommend smoking that. Doing it again, it doesn't feel any stronger, really. Maybe that's the point though. Maybe it's like a very subtle relaxation. Maybe you've got to be doing stuff to really tell. Cause just like sitting here looking for the effects is really challenging. Yeah, that's not apparent. To the point where like, I don't notice anything. So yeah. Great overview guys. All right, fun video. Yay, Yay. Canna. Woo -wee. Yeah. We covered it. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure you leave it with a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more content from me, hit that subscribe button. My brother does music. He's actually the guy who made that ending track that I've been putting in my videos for like over two years it's now. A really long time. I need a new ending song. <clears throat> um, I'll, I'll, I will include a link in the description to his music. He didn't do this video for a music shout out. I just thought I'd say that because well, I don't thank think, you. A uh, big thank you to everyone who's supporting me on Patreon right now. You guys make these videos possible. If you enjoy my channel and what I do, consider checking us out on Patreon. Uh, as you know, YouTube doesn't really like my content, so that's the only reason that I can make this stuff full time. So big shout out and thank you to you guys. I love you guys. Till next time, take care. Always test your substances. And <clears throat> yeah, this was Canna. Can I get a goodbye? Oh, <laughs> great. Dad joke. <laughs> Dad joke master. <laughs> Too many.